Hey, I'm Chef Dave Wilson, Corporate Chef with WD College. Welcome to another edition of Culinary College. Today we're going to be cooking the classic French toast on our Evo Ventless Griddle. Let's get cooking. We got our holes cut out of our egg bread there and we'll show you what those are for a little bit later on. Now we're going to make the mix that we need to make the French toast. All right, so we're going to use three eggs, a little splash of milk. All right, here we go, three eggs into the pan. One, two, three. And with a little splash of milk, this gives us the batter for that goes on the bread. Now you can either use cinnamon or you can use nutmeg. We prefer nutmeg here. We also have this fancy nutmeg grinder from Peugeot, which is another one of the lines that we represent. Makes it nice and easy to get nutmeg, fresh grind nutmeg into everything you got. So there we go. A little splash of nutmeg in there. All right, now we're gonna whisk that up, get it all emulsified. You can either use a fork or a whisk for this. There we go. Our coating's ready to go. Let's get the bread in there and get it on the griddle. Okay, we're at the griddle now. We got all our mise en place in place. We got our fresh fruits for our garnish near the end. We got our bread ready to go. We got our chocolate sauce. We got our mixture for our, for our French toast. Let's get ready. The grill's heated up to 350. We got our down draft is working nicely. I can feel it. This is the Colin Chef side. So let's get some oil on here for the friend. We'll get the French toast going. All right, so we're gonna need seven pieces for our wonderful French toast tower that we're gonna to make today. There's two. Spread that nice even coating oil on there before you drop the French toast. There's piece number two, four, six. There's number seven going down. 
There we go. Those are going to take about six minutes. We're going to get a nice crust on both sides. Then we're going to get our berries on. That's going to be our garnish. So you can see now that what's happening with this unit is it's pulling all the steam and everything down through our downdraft. Down below, it's going to circulate that air through four different filters. One of them is washable, one of them is replaceable. That way we get certified vanless capabilities with this unit. You can go anywhere, anytime. You can start cooking wherever you want. All right, side one's been on for a couple minutes. Side one's ready. Let's get them over. Get side two. Nice. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Perfect. We want to keep that circle intact for ready for our fresh fruit tower. All right. So now we want to get the fruit on, get it going up. We want to cook it up a little bit. We're going to drop some butter on for that. Nothing better than some butter. Throw in our blueberries. And we need enough to fill up that hole in the tower. There's our bananas and our strawberries. These are all gonna go down the middle of our tower of French toast. Now we're gonna sprinkle some maple syrup on there for a little more goodness. So you can see the downdraft is in full effect, pulling all that steam and flavor right down them. There's a little check on our French toast. We're almost ready. Everything's almost ready. All right, we do a little inspection, make sure we got a nice crust on there. All right, it's time to go to plate. Our berries are ready. All right, we got the right color on all of our French toast. We're gonna load it up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn each one about 15 degrees as we power, power, tower them up. That'll give us a nice, excellent presentation. final okay now we needed our berries this is always the hard part a few more in there Drizzling down the sides there, it's not going to hurt anybody. All right, so come around, we got a little more presentation to do. Here's our maple syrup. I'm going to drizzle it across. All right, we need some whipped cream on there. Look at that, beautiful. Need some icing sugar, of course. A lot of more berries for color. Drizzle of chocolate sauce. Last but not least, some mint for color. One on the top, one on the side. You gotta get a little chefy on us here. There we go. There you go. Our chef version of French toast on our Evo Ventless Griddle. So there you go. That was our classic French toast on our Evo Ventless Griddle. Thanks for tuning into this edition of Culinary College. Once again, I'm Chef Dave Wilson. 
If you'd like further information on the Evo line of products, visit us at our WD College website. We have a bunch of ways you can contact us. We're on all those social media platforms. We'll put links to those in the description down below. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.